One of the most common injuries for dogs while you're out adventuring is an injury to their paw. Something slices that pad on their foot, it's bleeding, it's obviously hurting them. You need to figure out how to get it cleaned, get it wrapped, and make sure it stays on for the hike out. Items we need to fix this wound up. We're gonna need to get it clean. I've got an antiseptic towelette. We've got many of those in the first aid kit. I'm gonna grab one of those. I've got a water bottle. We're gonna use that to get it cleaned out. Then we're gonna apply pressure to that. I've got my gauze pad, I've got gauze wrap. Get that pressure on there, that's consistent. And then we're gonna get wrapped. I've got Coban, I've also got duct tape here as well. My dogs like to try and get these wraps off, so I'm gonna make sure to double that down with some duct tape. Then to finish it all off, we've got this sweet homemade dog sling. This is made out of an old sock. We've cut it and fitted it to Eddie before we go out on our adventure. This is something that we practice at home because my dog does not like getting his feet touched. <laughs> so this is definitely something that we've done over and over again. Uh, but this, this sling will go over the top of everything to help keep it clean, but most importantly, keep it on. As I mentioned, the dogs like to try and chew that off. So this is definitely a key piece for our dogs. An essential for your dog's first aid kit is definitely having a bag of treats with. This is something you can use to reward your dog. They're very interested in what it is you've got going on there and they won't be as distracted by you fixing their wound. This is a good time to mention that you should always practice this at home with your dogs. If your dog is one that doesn't like his feet touched or doesn't like you cutting his nails, he's really not gonna like you messing around with an injury when he gets one on the trail. All right, so for this first step, we gotta get the wound cleaned. Eddie, I know that you've got a foot injury here and you'd hate it when we touch your feet, but we gotta get this clean, all right, buddy? Treat. <laughs> we know that with Eddie, we've gotta keep treats handy in order to get his, ooh, in order to be able to play with his feet. Treat. All right, so we got it cleaned out. Now I'm going to make sure that it's as sterile so we can possibly get it. Eddie, all right, just chill, bud. We're gonna get this foot clean, all right? Getting this cleaned out, there we go. You gonna need another treat? I see your mouth twitching. There we go, perfect. All right, now that it's clean, we're gonna get it wrapped and get that gauze on there. Here we go. All right, we're, we're gonna apply pressure. There we go, buddy. Perfect. There we go. This can be tricky sometimes. Perfect. You just hold right there, Eddie. Oh, perfect, look at you. All right, you keep your eyes on that treat right there. All righty, we're getting this all wrapped up for Eddie. Perfect. As I mentioned, Eddie really doesn't like having his feet touched. So again, those treats are key. Perfect. Woo! There we go. Mind you that dogs are definitely, when it comes to responding to injuries, you don't know how that may be. So we wanna, we're definitely doing all we can to make sure Eddie's comfortable with this. Uh, giving him treats, he usually doesn't get this many. Uh, <laughs> all right, you're all wrapped up, pressure's on that. The final step for us, actually, you know what? If we really wanted to make sure it was gonna stay secure, we'd put some duct tape on there as well. Um, when we've been on the trail before, he tries to get it off. So making sure that it's fully secured is definitely a plus for us, but we're gonna get his sling on here. Again, this is made from an old sock. It's cut perfectly to fit Eddie, just in case it's needed. And we make sure to put it in that first aid kit. Awesome. There you go. Oh, hey, bud, your scarf's in the way. No time for decoration. Not when you're hurt. <laughs> Perfect. We snuggle that on right there. This is something he's used to. He's worn it around the house before. He walks a little funny when he first gets on the ground, but he's used to it. There you go, bud. How does that feel? All right. There it is. Come <laughs> on. Good boy, Eddie. High five. Good boy. Good. All right. Eddie's all wrapped up, ready to go. He's uh, nice and snug in that sling and ready to hike out. Again, a key with these is making sure you practice at home so both you and your dog are used to these skills. Huh, Eddie? All right. <laughs>